It's charred, covered in soot. At the end of his time, the man from the boy finally emerges. But is he a coward still, or will he face his wraiths? Will he let the sounds trickle out? Or has he the courage to turn back the hands of fate? What are you talking about? Do you not recognize the reflection gleaming in the dark? An embodiment of all your sins, all your pain, all your guilt stares back at you from the abyss. What do you want from me then? The little girl, the drunken man, and the lover that lingers still. A chain bonds them all to me, and every link whispers a name. Marcus. What do you mean? I just met these people. Do you not recognize your dearly departed? Many ask for another minute, but few choose to squander it. A pity, the high price of admittance considered. Are you saying I know these people? Though they rot in a hole for many a year. It is still a wonder how quickly your treasured memories wears. Add to the mix of your means of arrival for a delightful taste of copper and irony. You know how I got here? Did the man in the raincoat offer no explanation? Perhaps a small mercy he granted unto you. But no such compassion will I bestow upon a craven such as you. The answer you sought, I give to you now. A shattered soul taken to an edge, slickened wrist brought about an end. But is this the end of a story, or the start of another? Most likely the former, as I see no hope for the later. Shattered soul, slick and wrist, what are you implying? With all the pieces before you, one might think you a bit slow. It was your hand that slew you, yet not that alone. And by your hand, the others also found themselves here. I didn't murder them. I've never murdered anyone. Nothing so crude, but in the end, just the same. An action can be just as strong as an action. Knives are not needed to cause pain. The sister died of neglect at age six. The father drowned in a cup with only his son to blame. And finally, the woman waiting for the man who never came. Lily says she died stuck in a toy chest. I had nothing to do with that. Recall the whole story, Marcus, before you say that again. You were in charge of her. Something you resent. That big brother watched her. As he promised he would, she would not have been dead in a coffin taken too soon. That's not the truth. I always took care of her. 
all the sadder the lie the teller believes. But in the end, you may fool yourself, but you cannot deceive me. So let the weight of the truth crush you underneath. You alone are responsible, guilty, and culpable. That's not what happened at all. The only liar here is you. You still have questions, and I have answers. The father drowned in a cup with only his son to blame. The woman waiting for the man who never came. My father? That drunk man was my dad? Of course. Who else could he be? But was he a loving father or an uncontrollable debauchee? In the bar, he said he drank himself to death. And while the truth may be, there's a certain irony still. To the great beyond, the child follows the father. To once again offer the cup that killed him. I didn't know. I wouldn't have gave it to him otherwise. One more quarrel I have with you before a resolve is reached. The woman waiting for the man who never came. I'm the one the woman's waiting for? Yes, the woman whom you once professed to love now waits in the grave. A wash in the masquerade of beyond. You paid dearly to be able to see her again. Ignorant of the results your actions would spawn. Alice called you a shadow of the person she was looking for. What did she mean? Though it stares you in the face, you still do not see. Flip a coin in the air and watch as it spins. One side shows you, the other side me. I am everything you hate, all you regret. Woven into one person, your greatest laments. You're me, and Alice is my wife? I remember now. Alas, it seems that the need for me is done. Though, do not believe that you have won. One more thing remains for you before you reach the end. Go find the woman, speak to her, leave nothing unsaid. Thank you.